My name is Ali Alie. I'm the co-producer and co-director of the film Garifuna and Peril. Garifuna and Peril is a, is a film about a Garifuna language teacher who is struggling to preserve his culture, and language, and identity. He is someone that is living in Los Angeles, but he wants to help out his home village back in Honduras. So he attempts to build a school back in his home village to teach Garifuna language. However, he runs into trouble because there's a resort there that wants to try to take over the land that the school is supposed to be built on. Thus, complications ensue. The story came about, um, we, Ruben and I, came up with it together through a whole series of community meetings, actually. We met with uh, people from the community in Los Angeles for about a couple of months, actually, and we kind of brainstormed on ideas that would be important to show in a movie, what the community thought would be important. And we came up with a big chart um, of a lot of ideas, and um, I still refer back to that chart to this day um, because it, we came up with a lot of really interesting stuff, and I'm happy to say that we incorporated a lot of it into the film. It had to do with land rights, language, HIV, immigration, um, all, all kinds of things. So we, um, we started with that as a base and then with, um, with Ruben being a girlfriend and language teacher, you know, as an independent film, um, we try to use the resources we have, um, who we really have in the community. So it seemed like a, a pretty good bet to have a character who was a girlfriend and language teacher seeing as how uh, that's uh, who we are. Garfin and Peril is my second feature film. My first feature also had to do with Garifuna culture. It was called El Espíritu de Mi Mamá, which was filmed in Honduras with Garifuna actors, but it was mainly in Spanish. And um, so it seemed a natural progression to do to try to get closer to the culture by doing a film mostly in Garifuna. So El Espíritu de Mi Mamá was filmed in 96, didn't really see the light of day until 1999. Um, so I've been involved with Garifuna culture since about 94. So it's been a part of my life for a really long time. Um, so I've always tried to be supportive and kind of bring my talents to the picture. I don't really, um, you know, I don't really try to impose myself too much. I try to work with people who are, you know, leaders in the community and, and try to make a joint venture and that's what this film is. <laughs> Ruben and I met in Los Angeles, I think it was in the year 2000. I was showing my other film, El Espíritu de Mi Mamá, at the Los Angeles Pan-African Film Festival. And um, I had called him beforehand, I had gotten his name. Um, the film had shown in New York previously and I asked some people in New York, you know, who are, the, who are some primary contacts in LA? So I, I called him up, I invited him to the screening. And um, he was very interested in the film and very interested in filmmaking. So we talked a lot after the, after the screening, after the Q&A. And he invited me to his house, so uh, I went there, I think, the next day. And we talked for a while. And, um, you know, so he, he told me he is interested in, in making a film in Garifuna language and asked me, um, you know, how come El Espíritu de Mi Mamá is not in Garifuna language if it's Garifuna people, right? <laughs> so I told him, well, you know, that's, uh, that's where you come in. Um, you're, you're a Garifuna language expert. You've been working on this dictionary, so that would be something for you to take on as a challenge, and I can support that. So um, I did try to support him as best I could over the years. I, you know, I gave him books on screenwriting and film production and, um, uh, you know, but um, it, it took a while for us to finally figure out, well, you know what, we should probably uh, join forces and get together and, and do something because we both bring different resources and talents to the table. So um, looking back on it now, I don't, I don't see why we didn't do that 
uh, right at the beginning. <laughs> but um, it took 10 years, but uh, you know what they say, um, nothing before it's time. And I think this, is, this was the right time to do what we're doing right now.